Welcome to Sanctum Asylum. I am Keyless, and we are playing Love Sam. So on the last episode, we were in a boy's bathroom. Um, and we're trying to figure out how to get out of here. So I think it has something to do with this poster. So we're going to start messing around with this poster. And hopefully... We don't have too many jump scares here. My heart can only take so much. Oh, the smile. Oh. Okay, so is it not supposed to touch me or what? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Get away from me. Oh, shit. I don't think there's any way to fully avoid it. I think it's gonna get us. I think it's gotta get us. Alright, well, let's, let's just. Uh, yeah, a little bit of goosebumps here. Oh no, okay, it's not supposed to touch us, but what are we supposed to do with it? Lead it into... what? Okay, so we tried the touching thing. Now we're gonna try the not touching thing. So we're just gonna lead it over here, and we're going to go... Around. Oh shit. I can't see it though. Oh, I'm trying to get away. I'm trying. Oh, there's a stall here. It's open now. I went into the stall. I think. I went into the stall. What am I doing? Oh! Push the shutter. This is for B. Push the shutter? Oh. What is, is this do it? Okay. How do I, how do I, oh, oh. Oops, okay, so now we're, wow. I couldn't read this. It belongs in the trash can. Oh, there it is. What is it? Okay, so now I have this. What am I doing with it? Oh, here. What? What's this? I don't know what I'm doing exactly. No, that's okay. I don't need to potty right now. Um. Oh, here's a note. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I need to go back into this room to, to see that note, I guess. Maybe? Let's find out the hard way. <laughs> I guess we have to we have to spray paint this. <laughs> Doing an awful lot of laughing at me here. I know I'm bad at spray paint, but come on now. Do I have a certain amount of time or something here? <laughs> oh, I think they got me. I think they were sneaking up on me. Okay, so I have a limited amount of time here? That's gonna make this very difficult. Well, I'm doing my best here. Okay, that's one. One more. Come on! Damn! <sighs> this one's really hard because it doesn't really aim where you're aiming it. It doesn't go where you're aiming it. Come on! 
<laughs> There's one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that should be enough. <laughs> Come on. God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's possible. All right, what am I missing? What am I missing? <laughs> Maybe it's not about hitting the mouth. Maybe I just need to spray as much as I can everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere! <laughs> no, that's not working either. <laughs> mm -mm. Well, this is gonna be real sad if we can't proceed onto the next area just because of this one thing. This is going to be very sad. Maybe I need to get it in its mouth or something? I'm doing something wrong here. I'm not sure what though. Hmm. I thought just spraying the mouths was the key, but maybe that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe it's supposed to be like... A circle? Or maybe it's supposed to be a smile? <laughs> maybe it's supposed to be shaped like a mouth? And then add teeth? Uh-uh. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Oh, nothing. It doesn't show me what it is. Hmm. Trying to figure this out. There's no easy way to do this? Okay. That should be enough. That should be enough. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's possible. Damn. I really wanted to finish this game. But like it doesn't give you enough time to spray paint these. And they don't go away when they should. Come on. <laughs> I wonder if my game's glitched out or something? Okay, let me in now. Jesus. God. They've got to fix that part. Okay, so that only took 10 tries. Wow, it's been ransacked. What happened in here? Why is there all this garbage? What the hell? Oh, maybe she hasn't left her room in a while. Hmm. Let's read this. Alright, October 23rd, 2006. There was a consulting session for Greenheart University student programs. They called it GUSP. <laughs> LOL. WTF? At the gym today. I've seen its posters all over the school since the day I arrived. I had nothing better to do, so I decided to give it a visit and spend my precious after-school time reading brochures. And once again, just like at the library, I was surprised to see Brian there. He was at the early decision program booth. I wanted to talk to him, but instead I ran from my room, jumped to my bed, and out of nowhere tears started to drop. I bet it was because of those stupid hearts. Yep, I saw those hearts again. 
Now they were on the gym walls, too. Whoever drew them must be very insecure about the relationship. Insecure like me. Deep down, I know I want my own hearts on the walls, too. But seeing Brian at the university booth felt like finally getting punched by reality. I have no idea I'll be doing uh, what I'll be doing in a couple of years. I thought of staying here at Rosen Peak, but with Brian preparing to leave, there's just no point. No Brian, no hearts on the wall. God, it's like my brain's creating a storm. I'm just gonna lie down for a bit. Hopefully I'll wake up next week. Ah, so we got three more, I think. Wow, this place has gone to hell! I don't even know what that is. Balled up piece of paper, I think. Okay, let's keep reading here. My life is nothing but a repetition of waking up with nothing to live for. Not even a false hope to look forward to this time. Long time ago, when I finally got to accept my feelings for Brian, I thought everything was going to change. But every day was still just like every day. He was still a school star, I was still his friend. When you live in Rosen Peak, people expect things to stay the same. If anything changed between us, it could ruin B and everything around him. So that's how it went. Nothing changed. When my whole world burned. I kept telling myself, maybe after graduation I'll be able to express my feelings for him. I let the fire in my heart eat through my soul and body. I called myself a coward. But I chose to keep what little I had to enjoy. I was a poor kid, crawled up in bed. Aw, oh, her. Maybe I take... I don't have my crosshair anymore. I think I had a crosshair at one time. Her. Or, do I really deserve that charity title? Am I really the victim of all this? Who is here to judge me anyway? It's all over. Everyone left me. So why do I have the f to feel like I'm being chased? Like someone's always watching me. Like someone's always trying to judge me. What the hell? How did the invite go? She in or not? Oh. So yeah, this was some kind of warped prank, wasn't it? Oh, she's coming. Dorks like her can't say no to a party like this. Sweet. Time to give her the drama she wants so bad. That's messed up. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling it was some kind of trap or trick. So let's read this. November 2nd, 2006. I know I used half of this diary writing about Stacy being a bitch. But now she's just unstable. It wasn't even past the first class when I saw her arguing like crazy with Kyle. Heard her shouting something like, I'm done doing shit for you, before storming away. Then she saw me. I was her next target. She strutted towards me and said, This is all your fault. Why don't you go back to fucking San Diego? Whoa, what did I do? She was off before I could even open my mouth. I turned to Kyle for answers, but he was gone too. Come to think of it, I rarely saw them hanging out recently, but I didn't know things were this intense. Brian's been acting weird too, though. He hasn't talked to me much recently, he even looks somewhat more upset than usual. I finally tried to ask him what was wrong, but he cut me short, asking if I called him last night again. All I could give was a blank face until Brian said, never mind and walked away. What was that about? What did he mean by again? Calling him in the middle of the night for no reason? Is something I've dreamed of, but that doesn't mean I'd actually do it. What the hell's going on? Yeah, that's weird. Someone's calling him, huh? That's creepy. What the hell? There are eyes on my window. Not there before. Wow. Isn't there a picture here before? Oh, there it is. Huh. Can I keep reading this? It's because of her. The moment she came into our lives, what little I had to enjoy started to crumble. Only bad changes happen in my life, no matter how hard I try to protect it. A city girl just asking to become an outsider. That was all she was to me. 
Hell, that was all she was to everyone else, even a bee. But then, I saw them talking at the library. I couldn't see clearly, but I could know it from B's face. He was making her smile. It was another smile taunting my feelings for B. No one would ever know what kind of emotions I was hit with at that moment. A change was happening, and I didn't like it at all. Stacy didn't like it either. And she could never stand letting an easy social prey slip away from her. Naturally, Stacy took a peek into her diary one day. She took pictures of some of the entries and sent them to me and her gang. She wanted everyone to join her twisted and childish game. Oops. Uh, I think, I think let's read this first. The diary had no special meaning to me. Not until I read about how Brian took that cunt on a fucking tour of the town. He had no interest in girls whatsoever and suddenly now he's hanging out with an outsider? That moment, I got tired of doing nothing. I knew I had to do something. So I gave Stacy an idea. It was going to be easy. Spike her drink, get her wasted, and humiliate the shit out of the city girl in front of everyone. Only then would she know her place. Could have been so simple, only if B didn't get in the way. This must be Kyle? Bummer, was hoping to do nasty stuff to her drunk ass. Still can't believe Brian had to take her away like that. So Brian's a pretty good guy, huh? Well, needy bitches like Sam do make some people feel sorry. She did mention something about her dad in her diary. But she has some nasty daddy issues too. Got an idea. How about we show everyone how needy a bitch can be? Hmm, sounds fun. But how? Leave it to me. Just keep reading your diary once in a while. Man, people are messed up, huh? Would never do that to someone. I think we're waiting for something. Oh, no. I just needed to turn around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So these are lockers? Wow, oh, the library. We eat hammers for breakfast and drink their tears to wash them down. Go golems! Oh shit, what the hell? Okay, what's going Oh, is he arguing? He's arguing with someone. Who is it? Stacy? Oh shit, are those things coming for me again? What am I doing? Shit! Oh, that's creepy. Oh no! Okay, so we're good. We're good. We're fine. Ah! Here, there's only two more. So there's this one and then one more. November 6, 2006. This is what is. Crossed out. I don't even know how to describe what happened this morning. This is fucked up. My hands are shaking again. It started when I opened my locker and something poured out. For a few seconds my brain was cut off from whatever was happening. When I finally looked down, there were dozens of pictures scattered in the hallway floor. All of them were pictures of Brian with gibberish written all over them. The whole school was at the hall. They looked at the pictures, then at me, and then back at the pictures. Brian was there too. The face he gave me. The face of disgust. He turned away and left. He didn't even say anything. I tried to chase him, say something, anything to him, but the floor started spinning and people started whispering. Like they knew what was going on. The air soon began to choke my throat. I swept what was on the floor and ran off to class. Of course, Stacy must have something to do with this. I looked for her, but she was nowhere to be found. The rest of the day was about nothing but avoiding eye contact with anyone. I can't sleep. Brian's not answering any of my texts. There's no one to talk to. Oh, Yeah, people suck. People suck sometimes. B, 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 B. Kept saying nothing was going on between them. Lies, lies, how could lies, lies? 
but I was too cracked in the head to believe everything was fine. In my eyes, Sam was using Brian to fill her sad, empty life. I couldn't let it happen. Oh, like she was absorbing him. That seems true. I mean, that's dramatic. It's probably more symbiotic. You know, two people becoming uh, intertwined in a relationship, they, they usually have a symbiotic relationship. And I think Brian's and Sam's would have been. Anyway, she wanted drama that she didn't deserve. She doesn't deserve shit. She doesn't get to barge into our lives and start disrespecting what I barely cope with. Stacy kept doing what she does best, digging into other secrets. She sent pictures of the little shit's diary pages to me. That's how I find, found out about their little trip to Colton Hill. It was our hideout since first year of high school, and her presence turned it into fucking nothing. How could we do this to us? The only way to break them apart was to show Brian what a creep she was. I kept reading the disgusting words she wrote on her diary. At the same time, I felt something. A reminder of how I felt when I fell for B. How it felt so right and terribly wrong. Screaming into my pillow never helped with making the feelings go away. Did you find the diary yet? So this is Kyle? Kyle had a crush on Brian? I guess? Huh. Did you find the diary yet? Babe, I think you're taking this too seriously. Did you find it or not? I think she knows I'm sneaking into her room. I can't find it anywhere. Babe, don't you think you're too obsessed with breaking them up? You're giving up now? Forget it. Please, babe. Maybe Brian doesn't even like the girl. I said, forget it. What am I doing? I am so tired. So maybe it is Stacy's. Those were Stacy's words. Can't tell, for sure. November 7th, 2006. The school counselor called me today. Mr. Ferns asked me if the rumors were true. Rumors that I've been leaving heart drawings all over the school. Rumors that I've been stalking Brian. At this point, the whole school must be out of its mind. I didn't even know the letters in the fucking hearts spelled S and B. And what, just because the initials are S and B, suddenly every name that starts with them are either Sam and Brian? So it definitely was Stacy. So Stacy was living, leaving the hearts S and B. Yeah, for sure. And guess what? Even crazier words are on the streets. Sam Holt, the daughter of a child molester, craves forbidden love. How on earth did Stacy find out about my dad? Why would she do so much to fuck up my life? And where the fuck is she? Is she... You know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting for Brian to listen to me. I'm tired of looking for words that describe this fucking fucked up situation. I can't believe I have to go through this again. So far from home. And so soon. Brian, please. Please say something. Oh, that was the last one. Okay, let's see. Then I remembered. She wrote something about her dad. It must have had something to do with her existence in my life. I started digging. Wasn't even a challenge. Keith Holt arrested for sexually assaulting a teenager. Well, that sucks. It was beautiful. I found the perfect ending. All I had to do next was fill in the rest of the story. Sam Holt calls Brian from a payphone in the middle of the night and silently listens to his voice. Oh. Oh no. Don't use that yet. Oh. Mike Kosky. Man, still can't believe I go to school with a celebrity. That Sam girl's got some balls showing up to class when everyone's talking about her pervy dad. Respect. Sam Holt takes Brian's picture and keeps them hidden in her locker. Sam Holt draws hearts all over the school to let others know Brian is hers. Oops. A needy city girl with serious issues. She was just a disaster waiting to happen. No one, even Brian, would think otherwise. 
I made all the preparations while Stacy spread the rumors I created. While Stacy spread the rumors. So maybe it is Kyle in the diary? I can't tell yet. I'm still confused by that. It was never easy. I once almost got caught taking a picture of Brian using the restroom. But I kept going. Every picture I took was a love confession I could never make. Every heart I drew was my sacrifice for him. And in the end, I got what I wanted. When enough suspicion piled up on Sam, I stuffed all the pictures I took into her locker. It was a happy coincidence that B was there to see the spectacle unfold when it happened. It was over. Things were about to turn back to normal. And then Stacy's drama-filled head exploded. Oh. Wow. What happened here? Oh, Oh, did I mess up something? Hide. Where am I hiding? Maybe you can run? What am I trying to do? I'm trying not to let this... This eye see me. Maybe you'll be able to live again. Oh shit, it caught me. I'm a little confused on where to go exactly. So I hide here. And then we'll run over there. And then we run over here. Ah, no. But then I'm not sure where to go from here. Am I looking for something, or...? Because I feel like if I go here... Oh, finally move on. LOL, JK, you're gonna die. What?! What kind of messed up shit is that? I'm done watching you get away with the shit you've done to me. Did you really think I wouldn't find out? That you've been using me to break Sam and Brian apart so you can have some fun with her? Well, I had my share of fun when I told Brian what you've been doing. You should have seen the face he made when I got the pair of you... The part of you drawing those retarded hearts all over the school. Hope you enjoy your happy life now that there's no Brian to get in your way. Oh, by the way, I saw you staring at that college poster. What? Did you like the girl in the poster too? Is it why you tore her face off? You need help? And don't bother calling me. Oh, that was Stacy. Okay. Okay. So we're back here. Ah, we'll put that right there, I guess. Is there more? All right. Oh, it's blank now. Please, man. Stacy got it all wrong. It's just a misunderstanding. I was just trying to prevent Sam from getting into your head. Please, B, don't do this. Text me back, please. The day Stacy told Brian was the last day he talked to me. He was so angry at me. He would never understand what I did for him. Typical, so fucking typical. Again, I was left alone to suffer. This time, someone had to pay for it. Yeah. Oops. What the hell was that? A locker? Oh. What is that? What is that? Oh, do I have these backwards or something? No, that's right. Oh, am I supposed to do something else here? Oof. What is this? Do I open this, or do I mess with it? Oh, I can't. Weird. Okay, so I can't open it or anything. Oh, damn, lights still don't work. Um... 
maybe I'm supposed to get closer to it? I don't know. I'm confused. Let's see. Do we need to go back? No, can't do anything with any of that stuff. Oh, here. Oh, okay, so we take this. Uh, hey, uh, yep, that was it. Okay, great. Where are we? What's going on? Oh, okay, so... Ah. So... Oh. Oh, so I'm starting to piece together something here. I think I know what happened to Sam. Let's see, where are we heading? Uh, oh, oh shit. I'm not supposed to touch that, right? I'll go the other way, I guess? <laughs> shit! God damn it! God! It gives me chills, too! Grr. Okay, let's try this again. So something's chasing me. Do I want to walk into this girl? No. Maybe I'm going down the wrong hall. What about this way? I don't know. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, so we don't want to get touched by that. But then there's this, too. So... Kind of being chased by two things here. Oh, Christ. Am I supposed to go into a locker? Oh, shit. There, 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 there. Yep. Sam put the note into her pocket, she read it, and then she went to Colton Hill. And there she is, waiting. Let's see if we can get over there. Oh, I died. What? What? What did I do wrong? Oh, I woke up in bed. Oh, okay, so maybe that was supposed to happen. Let's see here. Oh, the faces are gone. I need to put those back. Oh, no, maybe that's not what I do right now. Oh, well, that works. Sort of. Oh, here. Is this where I'm supposed to be? No. I always miss obvious things. It's really sad. Oh, that's not working. Okay, so we try and sit down. We can't mess with the diary right now. Huh. Okay, so. What am I missing then? Nothing here. No. Oops. Open that up in my face. Huh. No, no, no. Did I mess something up here? Oh, I can go in here. I can go in the bathroom, but I can't turn the light on. Okay, well, let's open this up. Nothing? Nothing. Uh-uh. Did I mess up the game? Did I break it? Am I looking for something? What am I doing? Can I go in here? No.
That one doesn't do anything right now. So the light is on here. This is really what I should be doing, I'm pretty sure. This time someone had to pay. I don't have a crosshair. Crosshair, there it is. Okay. So that'll help. We already read all these. I usually know where the middle of my screen is, but certain precision. Nothing in here, right? There's nothing. I seriously can't figure out where to go next. Hmm. Yes. No, we can't touch the phone. Uh-uh. Nothing. Let's turn up the gamma. So is that going to help at all? Can I see a little bit better? Something I'm looking for? Oh, maybe... There we go. Uh-uh. There's nothing here. I guess let's try restarting? Because there's nothing else I can really do here. I've looked everywhere. I've looked everywhere and been everywhere. Nope, nope, nope. I think I'm supposed to be able to mess with the diary again, but uh, I can't. can't see enough in here to do anything so okay so let's try quitting and we'll resume sorry about this guys I don't know what's happening <sighs> should only take a moment I think hmm Okay, we're loading it back up. Korean Linguistics Lab. We're going to continue. And we'll see where we're at here. All right, so let's try and sit down again. Yeah, now we can. Yep, that must have been the problem. Oh no, we're all the way back here? Oh no. Oh no. Alright, well, I guess we'll end this episode here and we'll try and finish it up on the next, I guess? I feel like it's pretty much over though. But now I've got to do this all over again, so... Sorry about that, guys. I... I must have missed something. But we will continue uh, from where we left off on the next episode. So thanks for joining me and I will see you then.